gonna try the Butcher from Baghdad. It's an Ete. So it's not like on my very limit, but I think in these cold conditions, it's gonna be very close to my limit. I don't even know if it's possible. There might be too much ice in the wall. Oh. But this is definitely gonna be like a pretty extreme, <laughs> not extreme, <laughs> but extreme adventure. Yeah. This is only 20 minutes uh, drive from downtown and all of a sudden you're at this climbing crag like having crags so close to the city is really nice we're trying to figure out where the route goes it should be this one i don't know it's i can't see the first bolt but i'm pretty sure it goes straight up here I think I just need to go through it once to see if it's even possible. It looks like there's quite a lot of ice on the route and if the ice is covering the holes, it just won't be possible. So I'm just gonna hang dog my way up once to make sure that it's actually climbable right now. And you haven't been late since last time we, uh, we did the uh, no. 9C strength test video and now you're belaying outside. I've totally forgotten how to, how to even belay so... Um. <laughs> Like even plus five degrees, it's pretty cold. And right now, I guess it's around like minus 10, minus 12. You're I don't gonna know. have to keep your shirt on. <laughs> <laughs> well, who knows, maybe not. <laughs> this is the steepest crag in Oslo. It's a pretty old crag too. These roots are from, I think like the 80s or 90s. The shoes are just so cold though. They feel like they're two sizes smaller than usual. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm just gonna go really easy now. I'm just gonna go from one draw to the next and just feel the holes and brush a little bit and chalk up. And yeah, some of these draws look really old, so I'm gonna replace them with my own. I mean, everything here is frozen. I don't know if you see this, but this whole slab is covered in ice. <laughs> there are long, like, icicles that are pointing right at Magnus. I'm just. Already my fingers are frozen. This was such a bad idea. <laughs> it's like I can't feel my fingers. This first one is really easy too.
Ja. I think my fingers just have to get really cold once and then get that burning sensation and then it's gonna feel a lot better. This is definitely the coldest climbing I've ever done. <laughs> Even though the sun now helped a little bit to figure this out. So uh, there's a lot of different holds but it's awkward with the feet because there's like a bold show. You can't use your feet at all. It feels like your feet are just amputated. Okay, Clota. Yep. Ah, yeah. yeah. That's pretty easy, actually. Like that. Nice. So this, I think, is the crux. That was crux. And then the rest should be easy, so I think I'm just gonna go down and try it immediately. Oh that was painful. Like I couldn't feel my my fingers at all. But I I don't know, I felt like I didn't I kinda gave up almost just because it was so painful. But now I'm getting I can feel like the blood is rushing to my hands and now they actually feel really warm. So I, just like one minute break or something and then I'm gonna try it again. And now I also figured out both cruxes um, and it doesn't feel too hard. When we walked up here, the car said minus 13 degrees. Celsius. Now, <laughs> Celsius, yeah. yeah. Now it's a little bit warmer in the sun, but still pretty cold. Did you feel like the belaying was okay? Or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, the next time I'm gonna try not to clip as many draws in the beginning. There were just too many. And I feel like there was a lot of rope drag. now is that the ice is starting to melt so now it's a little bit wet Like when it's this cold, I'm like chalking even extra <laughs> because I don't know it helps warm up the fingers a little bit.
Kom igen. Nice. Taking down my drawers uh, from this route. Did you replace all the old drawers with new? No, they were mostly old ones. Yeah. Uh, but some of them were like frozen, so I couldn't clip them, so I had to put some of my own. Uh, but on this route, I, this is like one of the classics of this crag, so uh, the drawers are just here. No one takes them down. But uh, you should really pay attention to those old drawers. But now it's actually. I don't know if it's just because I'm warm, but it feels so much better now. How's it for you hanging there, Marcus? <laughs> I'm starting to lose uh, like the feeling in both legs. Yeah. Is it a problem that it's cold? No, the sun is actually pretty warm, so uh, I'm not that cold. All right, so that was uh, was it uh, Slaktan of Baghdad? Yeah. So that's the butcher of Baghdad. And this is one of the classics in uh, in Oslo. It's an A day, but there are a lot of harder routes on this crag. There's even I think there's an 8B plus. There's an 8B over on the other side. So we might try that in a future video if you guys want to see it. If you do, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also check out Marcus and Marta, and uh, we will uh, see you next time.